Hello YouTube. I'm working on a 1970 Beetle with a 1500 and an auto stick. It's a non-running car, but I'm trying to get the transmission to shift. So, what I noticed is that the wire coming out of the shifter was broke. I put a new one on before this video. But I wanted to share with you that they sell these units off of eBay for about 15 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever it is. But you don't have to buy these. What I found out the best way to do is pull this out. So I'll go ahead and actually go ahead and actually pull it out for you. To show you what I mean. And now a lot of times they are dis this video. They are disconnected right here. You have disconnected here, where the sheathing is broken that comes out of here and it grounds itself to this unit and it's constantly grounding. So, what I did was I just unsoldered. This is the original contact points on this car. I unsoldered it by rolling over my iron. I rolled it over like this, just rolling it over like this while it was hot over the top. Then I just unsheathed the new piece of uh, 16 gauge wire and soldered it on there and then bent it up to fit inside sorry I know the focus sucks on this bent it up to fit inside this hole so once it's in okay all better once it's in it'll be working properly alright so just a quick video I hope you guys take something away with this and the best way to do what I found is any of this work is just check for continuity check for continuity between here and here make sure you have no continuity between these two points that means this the the cell the wire is grounding out to the shifter which is not how it's supposed to work how it's supposed to work is there's a spring on here and then this also sits in the top of the spring and then when you push down on the stick shift to shift the gears they make contact. So if you did it right, you should be able to get continuity between this top point and the end of this wire when the, the two are put together. And the easiest way to see if you have that is when you put the collar, which is the actually the adjusting sleeve, over the shifter, push it on, push it all the way down. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. And you just tighten it. Tighten it all the way down. You don't even have to use a wrench on it. You can just tighten it all the way down by hand because a spring compresses fairly easy, believe it or not. Yeah. I'm trying not to use just one hand to tighten this, but fuck it. So, with that tightened, oh, my hard work. I'm gonna check for continuity. I'm not really used to working with one hand, so I'm sorry. I'm also not used to shooting videos, but whatever. So I have one wire on the lead of the spade of that, and I'm gonna touch the other wire to this, and then we get continuity, which is good. So this is now a working shifter.